very often in my interactions with women from the council and elsewhere, there's a recurring theme that sometimes females are the worst bosses to have, that females are the worst colleagues to have. And, you know, I find this quite a tragic indictment, if you like, on, on females. Um, perhaps that need to survival inspires them to be a negative force rather than to take fellow women along with them. Um, but I've had that before. I've heard as well people say, I've worked in a man's world, so I've had to fight like a man, sure. which, you know, is a debatable statement in itself. Sure, but sure. yeah. So I would say maintain your femininity. You are female. You're there to add a unique perspective on how things are done and grab that and do it with pride. And if, if, if you're not understood by your colleagues, then your job is to convince them that you are adding value. And I don't know of any organization that would shun anything that's value adding. So for women out there, really couldn't encourage you more to be authentic, be yourself and be bold. I do like this idea of not caring what people think because we get bogged down by preconceptions and which are very often misconceptions about how we can fit into a lot of these environments. Um, for the financial services, this is a space where a lot of money has been invested in demystifying what it is to work for a bank because it doesn't naturally appeal, if you like, to, to females. STEM as a whole, there is that push. Let's get more females in the GCC, very much part of this agenda. A lot that we should be doing more of as women and really just make sure that we take people along with us. On the note of maybe being tougher, uh, maybe. Sandra Holbach, one of the most senior women on Wall Street Business Insider, um, says here, there's a statistic that shows a man will apply for a job if he's 50% qualified for the job, whereas women won't apply until she's 100% qualified. So I always tell women, raise your hand, volunteer for tough assignments, don't wait until you're 100% prepared to do anything, jump into things and swim, take chances. Women are often more risk averse with their careers, so I encourage women to take chances and volunteer for those tough assignments likely they'll do a great job and they'll be recognized and rewarded and hopefully promoted as a result of that right if you've got an aptitude to learn the whole point is i've never applied for a job that i could take every single box for in fact very often i had no business on paper applying for that job um, my mantra has very much been around this theme of just going for it I trust my knowledge, I trust my intellect, I trust myself enough with the responsibility that comes with being thrown in the deep end. I never want to be embarrassed, so I'm going to do as best a job as I can. There have been occasions where something isn't a good fit for me, I've tried it, it doesn't really work, and I'm not afraid to walk away from that. But provided I've had the door open and I've been given the opportunity, and very often you need a sponsor, somebody within that space. For me, there've often been male bosses who see something in you, are, are willing to invest in you, and like you, you were saying with your, your boss, just really wanting to see you do well. Um, not being afraid to ask for help is another thing. So we do get into spaces where our pride perhaps prevents us from reaching out and trying to get advice and learn from people who've succeeded at it. My thing is, yes, go out there, get yourself a mentor. There's a reason why people have been successful at what they do. Your job is to observe who those people are. And if you've got a desire for it, learn as much as you can you have nothing to lose and the dubai business women's council you've been a member for five years you were saying earlier the merits of being connected with such a group but of course networking and just a, a little insight into getting that right some people love to network some people it fills them with horror just being in a room with people isn't necessarily going to get you what you need so how do you network effectively so being socialized in a UK context means that you do have some reservations of just walking up to strangers and handing a business card. Dubai has completely rid me of these notions. Um, I do think I had pretty solid interpersonal skills before, but it's, re it's taken me to another level being in spaces like the Dubai Business Women's Council because there is no harm in reaching out, in seeing. For, often for me, actually, it's more a question of what I can do for you than you can do for me. Um, and I think people get this wrong when there's a profiling exercise that happens when people meet, i.e. what can I get from this person? Completely wrong mentality. Very often from my willingness to give, I've actually received a lot more. So networking is the absolute way forward. I have seldom applied for a job internally. I've been asked to take on roles because of the networks that I've established. So yes, go out there, network.
it pays the bills. And, <laughs> and and you're documenting your network? Are you like getting that business card put into a spreadsheet? I tend to actually connect directly on LinkedIn with people. It's, it's something that I've started doing more recently. I think I have been quite negligent with the cards that have piled up over the years. But equally, I don't know that every single network is value add. So I, I'm not one to just go out and be out there for the sake of it. There is a thought process. Who is it that I'm looking to to meet? Is there any value I can add? Can it add value to me as well? Do I have the time for it? If the answers to that are yes, then I'm out there meeting people, understanding what is happening in the market. And a lot of intelligence that needs to be plugged back in business comes from anecdotal accounts that you pick up from said networks. Thank you very much for your time today. It's been a real pleasure talking with Hazel Neandoro, Managing Director of Manalith Consulting. And uh, we wish everyone at the Dubai Business Women's Council well too. Thank you so much. Thank you.